Shit is that? <laughs> the Neka Nosferatu, or you know Count Orlock, because that's his name in the film. Yes, we are looking at Nosferatu. You know the vampire from that SpongeBob episode. God, that takes me back, man. Had that episode on VHS. Bro, have you seen that they've actually got Nosferatu as an actual recurring character in Spongebob now? What kind of bull- <laughs> Like, dude, that, 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 we're getting off subject. Nosferatu from NECA! From the 1922 film Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror. For all the youngins out there, Nosferatu was a silent film. Nosferatu is actually, I mean, hell, I guess you could call him a damn bootleg. He is an unauthorized, unofficial adaptation from, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Because boy, this ain't Dracula. I mean, he kind of is. They just changed his name to Nosferatu. No, they just changed his name to Count Orlock. Count Orlock Nosferatu is played by Max Shrek. Somebody. Max Shrek. The movie is actually pretty damn sick. I, Jesus Christ, I must have seen it for the first time in high school. It's actually for free on YouTube. You can watch it. Af after this video, of course. I'm your daddy. He's no Jason Voorhees, but I mean, it's it's still cool. And especially if you like the SpongeBob reference and, you know, you could go back and watch just how out of left field that, that scene is. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the box. Got Count Orlock on the side here. Got his keys in his hat. Got that SpongeBob reference right up here. That's exactly what that is. Some more product shots on the side. Love the clawed hand. Some good artwork on the front. As with all NECA Ultimates. Velcro. Ooh, that's a nice shot. And here is the figure. Pretty sick. We got some good accessories. Bro, he's kind of weird looking, ain't he? You're goofy looking. <laughs> sick ass accessories. Only one thing left to do. Let's get him open. Everyone in McKinney is dead. Let's count the crack. Count crack. Let's crack open the count. Let's crack open the count. Cut the Cut that. Dead. And here we have the greatest light turner offer of all time. Nosferatu. <laughs> Damn it, I cannot get rid of this cough. Sick. Nosferatu. Or Count Orlock. Whatever, whatever you prefer. He's pretty sick. I love the painting. Love the sculpting. As always, with NECA figures, you can't beat the paint and sculpt. He doesn't stand great. Even with them big old feet. Bro, his hands look fantastic, man. Trench coat, sick as hell. Head looks great. Kind of goofy looking, but that's how he looks in the film. You're goofy looking. And he's a tall bitch. We love that. Let's take a look at Nosferatu's accessories, and we will get into the man himself. Bro, on an off topic, you cannot tell me you can't make a custom headless specter from Scooby-Doo out of this figure. It must be done. And here we have Nosferatu's accessories in. Hell, man, we, we get a we get a butt ton. Let's start off with the hat. You got a damn chef hat. Looks like a chef hat. I don't know what you call. Bro, it's a pretty damn sick hat. Slap a White Sox logo on that, and hell, I'd wear one. Keys. Boo boo keys. Keys. What do y'all know about keys? Bro, this is sick here. That one's bent. That's fantastic. Of course, can always straighten that out with some hot water. Cool ass accessory. All these old school ass looking keys. Very cool. A piece of parchment. <laughs> it's upside down. Or is it? Okay, yeah, it's this way. Um, from what I remember, it's from the start of the film. Count Orlock's trying to buy a house and bite some necks. It's all real convoluted and complicated. Very cool. A bottle of the drink. Don't worry, I've been drinking. <laughs> I don't know. Count Orlock has this funky looking bottle. Cool looking bottle. Quill pen. How cool is that, man? I like the black wash on the feathers. And then we have the quill itself. You damn right, we got an ink well to go with it. Pretty sick. I like that you got the ink. The ink drips right here. And y'all see the hole, so y'all know what that means. You damn right, you could put the quill pen in the ink well. Hell yeah, bro. Hands. I don't know what this is a grabby hand for, but it is a grabby hand. Grabby hand. A right grabby hand. I do believe this one is for this sick ass bottle. I love the color on his his skin. I love this skin color. It's not really coming across on camera. But it's got like a purple hint to it. I like that. Another grabby hand. 
This time, it is for the quill pen. Little notch down in there for the quill. Simply stick it in there. Son of a bitch. And there you go. The quill pen hand. Lord, bro, these are sick. You see a little bit more of that purple I was talking about. You have the more normal reach out. I guess you could also call them relaxed. Goodness gracious. Lord have mercy. And then he's got his vampire claws. Dude, these are sick, man. Sculpting the vein work, the color. NECA just hits it out of the ballpark again. Last hand. Inkwell hand. Heads, goodness gracious, what a face. Look at those teeth, that's awesome. Big bushy eyebrows, dude. It's a sick head sculpt, man. I'm definitely an ugly some bitch. Ugly. You got the pissed off Count Orlock. The cool head sculpt. Look at he's slightly looking away. Lord. Shit. This is definitely the smiling at SpongeBob head sculpt. Eye work looks fantastic. So that wraps up Nosferatu's accessories. Let's get into the count himself. What's the Wi-Fi password? And bro, here we have Nosferatu back on the stand. Man, look at them eyes, bro. Look, goofy looking character, old ass movie. Y'all might not be into it, but I've always really liked Nosferatu's design. I think he's creepy, spooky even. Somebody. I mean, the movie's known Lost Boys, but for its time, it's, it's still got some damn cool imagery. So let's take a closer look at the figure. As I was saying, bro, this just looking, looking overhead sculpt, I really like that. Just the subtle smile. I also thought it was interesting. Down here in the neck is the double barbell joint. Look, bro, look, look how looking down he can look down. Bobby! That's some strong ass look down. Like, damn, man. Look at him looking at Harley. Yeah, bro, that's cool as hell. I'm loving this trench coat. Sculpt's fantastic. Paint works fantastic. As far as the neck goes, hinders a little bit, you know. Collar's gonna get in the way. Damn, bro, that looks sick. Yeah, that's sick as hell. I like these shoulder joints as well. They really come in. They come out. Does a good job not breaking the sculpt. Love the wrinkles. Like, yeah, man. Freaking NECA going hard on the count. There's just not a lot of dramatic poses that you could put him in. But I definitely approve of the extra effort gone into the product. Love all these buttons. Get to the skinny jeans or the slacks or whatever. Single jointed knees. And some big ass feet. Not honking feet, but just big ass feet. Overall thoughts on the figure, man. I think he's pretty sick. As with all NECAs that I have, just fantastic paint and sculpt work. Again, old ass movie. Not the scariest looking character in the bunch. But he's cool, man. I love him. And if you're into SpongeBob, I mean, there's that. Let's get into some comparisons. Bobby! Here we have the NECA Nosferatu up next to NECA's Frankenstein. Love the height, love the size on these figures. Here we have NECA Nosferatu up next to NECA's Freddy Krueger. Mr. Krueger! It's Dugger! From A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Up next to NECA's Halloween Ends, Michael Myers. The Greatest of All Time, Part 7, Jason Voorhees. And from our last review, the Bandai Anime Heroes Chainsaw Man. And here we have Count Orlock in his funny looking half of a chef's hat. Dugger! So, what do we think? I think he's pretty damn cool, man. These NECA Ultimates, they're just... They're just really important to me and really important to the horror aficionados out there. Where else are you going to get a freaking Nosferatu figure, man? Do I recommend that you buy it? I don't know. Are you big into horror? Are you big into Dracula? Do you like the movie? Are you a big movie buff? Then yes. But I can understand that this isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea. But it is mine. I'll get it. Run. I give NECA's ultimate Nosferatu the rating of... <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Thank you all for watching.